The question posed by the sister is, who created Allah? It is a question normally posed by the atheists, by the rationalists. That reminds me of an occasion that once my friend, he is a very close friend of mine, he had gone to a discussion with the rationalist group of Bombay, the atheist group. And he tried to convince them about the existence of God Almighty. And he started off saying that this is a cloth. Who created it? Where did it come from? They said a weaver created it. Fine. It has a creator, yes. This is a book. Where did it come from? Where did the book come from? Where did the pen come from? Like that, he tried and proved to them that everything has a creator. The car, it was created in a factory. Who created the factory? Maybe the engineer. Who created the engineer? He went on trying and proving everything as a creator. And then he asked the question, who created the sun? Who created the moon? And while asking these questions, he said, do you agree everything as a creator? So the rationalist group, they paused and they said, we will agree that everything as a creator only on the condition that you do not change your statement. That you do not Go back on your statement. We will agree everything as a creator, but you should not go back on your statement that everything as a creator. My friend was very pleased. He was happy. I have been successful. I have been successful in, con in convincing the atheist. And he poses the next question. Who created the sun? Who created the moon? Everything as a creator. You have to name who was the final creator. I have come from my mother. My mother has come from her mother. Finally, who is the first creator? And he helped them with the answer. The first creator who created everything is God Almighty. And thinking that he had won the discussion, the atheist posed the question. We agree in God Almighty. On the condition, you give us the answer, who created God? And my friend got the shock of his life. He could not answer. You are dumbstuck. He could not sleep the whole night. Next day, he came to me and he told me and he narrated the whole incident to me. And I realized he was using the methodology used by some scholars to prove the existence of God. These scholars, they have missed out a very important rule of logic known as self-analysis self-analysis. If you analyze in my talk, never in my talk did I ever say that everything has a creator. Never did I say that. If I would have said that, I would have been trapped. In fact, I was the person who asked the atheist and the atheist gave the reply that the first person who will know the mechanism is the creator, the manufacturer. I didn't say that, he said it. If suppose someone poses the same question to me, Brother Zakir, who will be the person to tell the mechanism of an unknown object? I will tell him that everything which has a beginning, everything which is created, the first person who will be able to tell the mechanism of such things is the creator. I am using my logic. I don't want to get trapped again. If I say this answer, that the first person will be the person the first person who will be able to tell the mechanism of anything which is created, which has a beginning, is the creator, you can use that same argument and still prove that the Quran is the word of God. The final answer will be, because science tells us, the sun has a beginning, the moon has a beginning, our universe has a beginning. Who will tell the mechanism? The creator, God Almighty. You asked me the question, who created Allah? It is somewhat similar to a question posed to me by my friend. He said, 
that my brother Tom, he was admitted to the hospital and he conceived and gave birth to a child. Can you tell me, was the child a girl or a boy? I know as a doctor that a male cannot conceive and give birth to a child. The quality of a male is it cannot conceive and give birth to a child. It's an absurd question. Same way, the definition of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is Allah is uncreated. He does not have a beginning. So if you ask me the question, who created Allah, it is as absurd as my friend asking me that, that my brother Tom gave birth to a child. Is it a male or a female? Hey, I'm a